The reason why we're developing nano copper is to, uh, to provide a novel and cheaper materials for the printed electronics industry. Currently people are using micro silver, which is a, a very cheap and, and easy uh, raw material. The main challenge is that it's, it's a very poor conductive material in terms of electrical performance. So what we are wanting to do is to use copper. Copper is about 100 times cheaper than uh, uh, micro silver and also can provide a, a, a much higher or much better electrical performance. The current and, and the future uses of, of nanocopper are quite wide. Uh, currently the most used product is uh, uh, photovoltaic so solar cells. So all these conductive lines you see on the solar cells that is actually um, this micro silver paste that is being printed on there. Future applications that we see that are it actually could uh, become mega trends are actually wearables. So actually integrating electronics inside of clothes. And that could be for health purposes, you want to monitor elderly people. It could also be for fashion, trying to have you know, lights or LED uh, diodes all over your clothes. And there's a lot of different applications. So that's going to be something very, very big in the future. The, the process for the nanoparticles starts with synthesis. So first we, we take a copper salt and then we combine it with a reducing agent in a flow system. This will then reduce the copper ions into uh, copper particles. At the same time we add a capping agent which then protects the, the, the particles from oxidation and makes a good dispersion. Once we have the raw dispersion we actually have to clean it. So we put that into a tensional flow filtration system which then extracts all the, the byproducts and all the, the waste that we don't want. Once we have done this, we actually have a clean dispersion of nanoparticles. Uh, then we have to make a nano ink. The nano ink is basically taking the dispersion and adding a binder and also maybe some additives. The additives are actually giving it the properties that will, will make it easier to, to adhere to a substrate or to print in a specific, for example, inkjet or a screen printing or something else. Once we have the nano ink, then we have, of course test and we print on different substrates. Uh, once we have printed something on a substrate, we have to actually uh, cure it in the beginning. That means to expel all the solvents, so we have a dry film. And then we have to do a sintering process. The sintering is basically heating it uh, at a higher temperature, which then melts the particles together, making a conductive track. So what we're doing now is to take a small batch scale production and to scale up uh, using a flow system. Uh, with the flow system, we see that we can scale up to a 10 to 20 uh, tons per year production within maybe one to two years. So the idea is that through our flow synthesis system and upscaling of that, we can actually collaborate uh, with the ink suppliers and of course also the ink users in order to make a global uh, strategy on the commercialization of nano inks. Mm -hmm.